somebody saying that they don't like how you're doing your yard, uh, like you're not raking your leaves or something like that and not mowing your lawn, you just have to say to them, um, who's making the claim that because my yard is a, a certain, you know, looks a certain way, you have a uh, claim that's been filed in a proper jurisdiction in which somebody's compelling me to perform and order me to do something or modify my lifestyle or make me uh, work on my lawn without compensating. Somebody's going to compensate me for maintaining my property in a manner that they order or they demand of me. Because that's uh, everybody forgets the 13th Amendment is like the involuntary servitude um, is unlawful. Nobody could order you or demand for you to perform, or go to work, or clean up, or scrub a toilet without fair and just uh, compensation. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that's my current photo on the website. That's me, and that's my cats, and that's the mountain I live on. So, uh, yeah, back to um, the code enforcement. All you have to do is say, who's making the claim? And obviously, they're going to give you something called a complaint form. Somebody, some county official is going to file a complaint form, not a claim form. So you say to the man, when you get this complaint, it's like, well, there's a complaint, you know, that you're, viol in, viol you're in, uh, in, viol yeah, in violation. So they interfere with your rights, but you violate a code. So you don't violate somebody's rights. You don't infringe on somebody's rights. You uh, interfere with somebody's rights, because rights mean, like, to exercise. Like you exercise your right to free speech, or you exercise your right to vote, or you exercise your right to move your left arm or your left leg. You exercise that. So if I come sit on your leg so you can't move, and I'm interfering with your right to exercise, I'm not infringing and I'm not violating, I'm interfering with it. I'm physically somehow restraining you from, you know, enjoying the right. So back to the leaves, raking leaves on something like that, all you basically have to say to them, oh, would somebody like me to rake my leaves? It's like, oh, yes, the county or the city would really love for you to rake your leaves. It's like, okay, you know, uh, send me a proposal. Send me an author. And I'll be more than glad to um, uh, consider the order, you know, like like attorneys only propose orders. See, we're a man. In a common law court, we create the orders. If you ever go to a federal website, it'll say, uh, and you click on the attorney's uh, forms, it'll say proposal, order proposals. So attorneys propose orders, and they pray for remedy or they pray for relief. They're praying to the man in the black robe. We don't pray for relief. We create the order. And we say we order X, Y, and Z. We don't propose an order. We're not proposing anybody to marry him. We're not trying to court the guy in the black robe. But the attorneys are trying to court the man in the black robe. He's trying to, you know, win him over. I'm not trying to win the guy over. I'm just saying, hey, I order this. I'm a man, and this is what I order. So when a county uh, personnel comes over by you, says, "Right, those leaves," they say, like, "Oh, do you have an offer for me? What do you offer? What's, what's your offer?" And I say, "Well, uh, if, uh, I'm ordering you to rake those leaves, and if you don't rake those leaves, I'm going to charge you five thousand dollars a day." Oh, wonderful! Can I see that order? It's like, "Would you like to order me to do that?" And uh, are you saying it's five thousand dollars value, you know, for raked leaves? It's like, "What? If I don't rake them, somebody's going to come here and rake them, and you're going to charge me five thousand? Well, absolutely." We'll say, well, that's lovely. Give me that. Give me, let me see that. Uh, write me a proposal and sign it. Well, if you want him to sign it, then that way you're dragging him personally into the court. But you can just let him sign it as a county uh, code enforcement officer, and that way you could hold his department liable <laughs> for the bill. So then you rake your leaves, and then you hand it back to him and say, here you go. I raked the leaves, and you said that uh, if somebody had to come rake the leaves, it would be $5,000. Well, I raked the leaves. Now I'm asking for compensation because I was ordered to rake the leaves. That I, if I don't rake the leaves, this is the order that I rake the leaves. I'm, somebody's going to come here and rake them for me. I'm going to charge you five thousand dollars, and then you just tender the bill back to the to the um, to the agency that uh, presented you with the bill. And if they don't want to pay you, then you just file a claim in uh, common law court that you are uh, um, you are uh, like under the Thirteenth Amendment, you are ordered to perform an involuntary servitude is not uh, permitted in this country, it's not allowed, not tolerated, and that uh, you performed uh, under the order of the county, and now you don't want compensation. They can't order you to do something. Like, they can't order you to wash windows. They can't order you to uh, uh, wash all the fire trucks in the city without uh, compensation. Like, you can't order me to mow your lawn. You can't order me to babysit your kids without the, me 
or expecting me to demand compensation. So they could say, well, you're a resident or you're a, or you're a, you know, you're a citizen of the city. And it's like, oh, you're presuming an awful lot. That's an awfully big leap of faith, presuming that I'm a citizen or that I'm a resident here. Um, are you going to be able to swear to that other oath of affirmation in open court? Do you know for a fact? Do you have, because you, like an attorney for the county can't come and swear under oath of affirmation in open court. Only a man can swear and have first-hand knowledge. So you could say to the man who's saying, who's who's making a claim against you, and he said, yeah, I'll take you to court. I'm the code enforcement officer, and I'll swear to it. I say, okay, good. When you get him on the witness stand, it's like, how do you, are you competent? Uh, do you, how, how long have I lived here? Are you sure I live here? How do you know I live here? Just because you see me, how do you know I'm not a guest? How do you know I'm not a visitor? How do you know that I'm liable for the property? How do you know I'm the owner of that house? All you did is you ordered me to do something. Now, you're going to have to compensate me for that order. I carried out your order. When one man orders another man to do something, I carried out your order. Now, I want compensation. 